Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well, it is about that time where we start getting the battery and the grow watt up on the wall. Now my plan is to move all of this shelving and saw, uh, move it all out because I want to put I want to put the grow watt like right here and I want to put the battery right next to it. So that way if for future expansion I could have other wall space over here for batteries and then I want to have future expansion for an, an additional grow watt if I ever decide to go with a 240 split phase off grid system. So that is the plan. I'm going to be, the, all of this is going to be moved. What I might do is is actually keep some of the shelving because I want to make this all solar and right now there's just this little bit right here so it's probably going to be three shelves and they're just going to go across all the way across like that so you know unfortunately it would be super boring for you to watch me do all that so I'm going to go ahead and get it done and uh, and then I'll show you what the next steps are okay well I got the wall all cleaned up you can see that I took apart all of the uh, shelving. Uh, this is really, really lightweight shelving, so I'm not gonna be putting a lot of stuff on there. I might have a third row, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but then I cleaned the whole wall off, and I've actually made marks to where, uh, this is gonna be an inverter. If I, if I decide to get a second inverter, it's gonna go here. But the inverter I have right now, the grow watt that I have right now is gonna go here. There's a mark here and here. There's got to be eight inches of space and then the battery is going to go right here. And so I've got a mark here and a mark here. And then I've got a mark right here because I believe this is where the, be the beginning of the, the bracket that I'm going to bolt onto the wall is going to go right here. All right. So and the next thing I need to do is I need to go to uh, I'm going to go to Home Depot because I need uh, a masonry bit because the masonry bits that I have aren't big enough uh, for these M5 lag bolts. So these are the bolts that I'm going to be using to uh, bolt the battery onto the wall. And then I'm going to buy some Tapcon screws um, about this size, probably about a half inch to an inch longer uh, to put up the grow watt. And then also I'm going to buy uh, you know, a bigger box, uh, pretty much about this size, so that way I can uh, screw in any conduit or raceways, anything like that. So uh, we'll see how everything looks once I get those two items on the wall. Inverter up also, but that's just Capcom screw. Yeah. All right, and there we go. Both of them on the wall. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook the battery back up to the grill bot and make sure everything turns on and we'll go from there. All right, I got my two wires on here. Uh, here is my raceway. It might be, it might be too small, and I actually had to cut out a couple of sections to put the the two gauge wire into the raceway. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap it on the wall and see if it will actually work. If not, I'll just have to replace it with something bigger. For the most part, yeah, I like that. I like that look. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these so they come up. Hopefully they'll bend right down in. I might have to screw something in to hold the wire in place, but we'll see. Okay, well, I am finished with the wall installation for now. Uh, what you can see is I have my, my raceway down here for my positive and negative battery terminals and my network connection. Um, right now, I do have uh, temporary AC input and AC output cables, but they are secured in, so um, they're not going to get yanked out at all. Um, I do have the Wi-Fi connected back up, and everything is running exactly the way I want it for right now. In the next video, what I'll be doing is I'll be getting a conduit, and I'm going to put PVC conduit going down to run this AC input and output and it's going to go up and then uh, one of them is going to go to my house and then the other one is probably going to go yeah uh, I'm not really sure what the other one's going to go yet so but we'll find out anyway with all that being said thank you so much for watching this video uh, I don't know if it was really that informative but I really just wanted to keep everyone in the loop of how this EFG battery is being utilized I got it up on the wall and it's great. So if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions about this EFG battery or the grow watt for that matter, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.